are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the London Black Knights and the Houston Oilers. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. the throw and remember quarterbacks got to get rid of it they don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 This go deep for Ruggs. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 36 yards on the play. First down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. take this one down to the 36. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start, opening drive INT. And, partner, sometimes I wonder about it to such an extent that you into the turnover when you get a little too worried about keeping the football and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. 39 yards there, a big one. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot. No escape for Lock, and he'll go down. Nick Bosa, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Up third down. On play action, they'll throw. Throw down going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third 
third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Fielding just inside the 20. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Now they try the right side here. 11 yards there, first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Time for the tailback. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. The tackle was by the Boston College product, Harold Landry. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go down as a loss of five and it brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Out of the gun now on third down. And that will be incomplete. The safety, Keanu Neal, there to knock that one free. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On is the punt team now as this one set away. Here's Bird to return. 41-yard punt, nine on the return. On the offense as they take over. 24 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Taking it about the 36. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. The punt's, on the better. Drive. the punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. At their 49-yard line. Second and six. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down, London. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. We're scoreless after one. Quarter with no score. there at a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. He's brought down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Well, Kevin here, it's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys, just a little bit more help, and I can get it done on this one. Maybe even overruled the play call from the sideline, just feeling like he had that opportunity, and he wanted to cash it in. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Fence back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. 20, 10, touchdown, Houston. J.K. Dobbins, 79 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Seven. Seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Five-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view. It's caught at the 10. 
him. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. Henry Ruggs, 75 yards. And his guys have taken the lead. They talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Black Knights 14, Oilers 7. Greg Zerline set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. They're on the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. They set up the screen for Dobbins. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. He's got his man on the cross around. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Right at the line. Of Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and ten at the 44-yard. Officially, line. nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. And this one complete downfield on the left side. Touchdown, Houston. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and take it successfully. They'll take over first down and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple one play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now back to throw. He'll let this go deep for runs. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Walker. We'll call it skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for.
And again this time to the tailback. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Brought down by Dion. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. It'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The ball carrier. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. First down, Black Knights. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here at a very eventful divisional round. Under pressure, and down he goes. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And on now is the punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. in their own territory so well done there and these punters they get more specialized and better each and every year don't they they sure do and now it's really not the american punters it's the australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football they're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up they'll try and start this drive in the air Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true, do you? Because there's times when we see plays like that and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side. It deflates the other side and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit.
They'll go to the air here on third and two. He'll go up top here for Hamler. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Play fake here on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And a great move again. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Looking left side of his got a man. That's Boyd. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He'll drop to throw. Looking for his running back. been a workhorse for them in this game and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him trying to make sure they knock the ball free. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll go up top here for... Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. Touchdown, Houston. KJ Hamler as the first half is winding down. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. And now off to the races, down the Side. And it's a touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Greg Zerline lining up. Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own. And you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, grand slam home run. It tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad stands up for me. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Their own 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Maybe 
make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work. Okay, what do we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. They're going to run this with a tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. And now a throw on 
first down there, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. On second down, a run to Dobbins. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No, no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. It's third and ten. Flush to his right. That's incomplete, but there he is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. You have to get outside of that tackle to tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. And it's fielded at the 34. They'll call this a 41 yard punt, seven on the return. Down and 10 at their own 41 yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Now they try the right side here. to the 25 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. Now, the good thing for you, partner, is you're not as old as I am, okay? So, it's true. So back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, <laughs> the right side of an offensive line was almost always your power side. Your bigger, stronger physical guys, they tossed it right and looked like it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's not the case so much anymore, you're saying, with the bigger guys? And not, not necessarily. Find the best guys, plug them in on your own line. Right. As a general rule now, you're a lot more balanced on your offensive line. It might still lean towards your best pass blocker on the left side, sure. but not necessarily all the time. The and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 35. Oilers 21. Greg Zerline set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now this time he'll look to throw. Open man, Hammer, that's complete. And the ball is knocked down. And the defense will get their hands on it. Go the other way. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake at the ball and knock it free. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. 
And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call a position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. fourth down now fourth down the offense here not budging they're going to fight for it on fourth and inches they'll try and run for it and he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25 they only needed a few inches and they didn't get much more than that but by about the width of a shoelace they convert on fourth down Now a handoff looking right. And loses the football a second time. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time. This one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you... And oh my goodness, he loses it again. This is picked up by the defense. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more. You go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead it's been a game of punch counter punch hasn't it all throughout but this time the big swing was taken and it didn't land nice play by them on defense coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive <laughs> and he'll give it here to his running back and he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. 18 on the play. First down, Black Knights. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. It's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A 7-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the 11-yard line. Going to get this time to the tailback. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And it brings up third down. Touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Well, after their wild card round game last week, you and I said, wow, they played pretty well. Maybe they got a shot at keeping this one close. They've done more than keep this one close. Yeah, they've made quite a statement, haven't they? And I don't know if it was the week off that hurt this defense. They've been clawing from the get-go. And that's always a coach's fear. Okay, you earn the open week, but you wonder how they'll respond with that extra time off. Yeah, it seems like they've been running uphill all game. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback.
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round, hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. They'll look to throw. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but this is caught inside the 15. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. K.J. Hamler with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Makes the score Black Knights 42, Oilers 28. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. They'll take over first down and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And now first downs are key. They want to keep that. And he lost the football. It's loose. And they are going to get this one back, it looks like. So they're really like for like fumbles, but they hang on. Onto this thing and keep it a turnover. The try here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Makes the score Black Knights 42, Oilers 35. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead on the football, the clock will now their friend as they try to work their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And he slings one that's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his man, Boyd. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. I tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Hey. 
That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they do everything possible to have him do it again. They need that drive. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And I think the ball's out. It's going the other way. Pass the 20. hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. And no sweat. He puts it through and we are tied here in the fourth. At 42 all. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game fourth quarter a lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here that play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down first down black knights spot Deion Jones making the play now defensively here we're going to get a timeout it's just their first they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter here's second and eight and he's got his man out of the backfield that's complete and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds that one a first down pickup of eight well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Now here's Whistles and another timeout. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now they try the right side here. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. Right back to him on first down. And he brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, 
You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? And it's third down. a field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So now it's fourth down and short, and whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option, but as you also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They're going to look to throw. This is going to be intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30 yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find his man in the end round. Complete. And getting this chest shot in midfield. He'll spot it at the 49. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19 on first and 10. It's Dobbins. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. They'll look to throw now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. a play fake as they set up to throw. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Here's second and ten. Flushed out right. Now, oh no, lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And he got it! The kick is good. He splits the uprights. And in doing so, he sends them to the NFC title game. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. And looking at it from the perspective of the losing side here in this divisional round, it, it all ends so abruptly, doesn't it? A few hours ago, you've got all this hope and anticipation to maybe a deep run, and now you're out of it. Well, let's applaud the team that won, and rightly so. They, they're moving on. They still have a chance to get to the big game. But let's not bury the team that lost. We, I think I do a lousy job of illuminating what a great year they had. Let's 